Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV Toffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodnesson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello uh, and welcome to the coffee mug tutorials. What I wanted to go through today is kind of the next uh, video after Manufacturing 1. In Manufacturing 1 I actually created a finished good, uh, created a production bill of material and routing and attached those both to the finished good. And then I put the finished good on a production order, a released production order, and refreshed it. So. Uh, production order by itself doesn't do much, it just basically is like setting it up just like a sales order. Um, however, in order to interact with it, um, or you need to interact with it to have something happen within the system. So that's what we're going to do now, hence this video. So I'll go into the released production order. Uh, and over here I can see my production order that I created previously for 50 pounds of coffee. Now we are grinding it and bagging it and um, we know that we are going to need 50 bags and 50 pounds of beans. Now a simple way to interact with this order is to actually go here into line production journal. This is sort of a simplified version of the consumption and output. It actually brings the consumption and output into one screen. Uh, where you can log in what happened and post. This works well, like let's say for example you get paperwork from the floor of what happened and you just go to the workstation and you actually set things up um, or log them in and then post. Uh, if you need things automatically being tracked on the floor then the journals are better and I'll go through that in a later video. But in here I can actually go and say well we actually did use 52 and 55. 52 bags, 55 pounds of beans and it did result in 50 um, bags of finished good and we are done. So I check this off. In order to post this I obviously have to post it into the right period. Say we finished um, on the right date and also like how long it took. So that would be interesting. Uh, let's say the setup time was only five minutes, but we did run, I think it was 30 minutes for 50. Let's say we were a little bit quicker than that. I'm actually going to have the math done just right here. It's a little trick you can do enough. You can do formula inside the field. So 2400 minutes. Okay. And then I just go ahead and say post. Uh, yes. And now they're successfully posted. And I can go out and hit statistics. And I can see that the expected cost was 50 and the actual cost was 81. That's just based on the raw material that was in stock. I didn't cost anything out in capacity, so that didn't come out at all. Um, we can also take a look at the, um, if I go over here into the entries, item ledger entries, and I can see here that it did use 50 and 2 of the bags. It used 50 and 5, 55 of the ground, uh, I mean the beans, and then output it 50. So there's 50 coming in for that product, the finished good. And now we can go ahead and sell that or move that around or do whatever. Um, so the inventory has been properly relieved. Now if this is finished, uh, the actual production order is done, um, we can change the status to finished. So I can just go ahead and hit here. I can update the unit cost of the product. Just hit finished. And now it's finished and it's moved out of this screen. And this is how we basically took out inventory uh, for the raw material, 
locked in capacity and locked in output uh, for the finished good of a released production order.